hello everyone this is asmr if today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and this one episode will be like the skin retouch so another episode of risk skin retouch actually so some of my fans just asked me and requested me to make this type of tutorial more and more that's why i'm just making this tutorial the stock image i downloaded from the pixels.com and i'll give that download link in my video description and in this tutorial i'll use three or four things number one is a plugins that is the skin finer and number two then i'll use the camera filter and i made some presets and i'll give you that preset for your photography purpose and after that i will use a nick collection and um, the other stuffs so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first i'll go to the open up and open and this one is our stock image and i'll just imported this one and in this photo you are getting some dots in the face if you need you can just uh, use the tools that is the spot healing brush tool and if you just press here you have to make it more smaller and make sure that the continuer is selected and just select once and if you need you can delete the spots so here then here as well so now just make copy by pressing ctrl j and then go to the filter and photo toolbox skin finer so skin finer is a plugins of photoshop so if you want to get this skin finer and if you want to know about the skin finer more i have another detailed video so please check out my video description i'll give there the download link and the video link actually so here the options the skin detailing and the skin toning so skin detailing that means how fine will be the smooth of the skin and the skin tone is the how the color what will be the color of the skin so these two things is most important in this tutorial so at first i'll refine the edge like um, this one i'll smooth the skin here is the options yeah that's fine now hue and saturation hue what will be the color face color it depends on the skin and the saturation if you need you can just desaturate this one if you need you can increase this one but i'll keep the around minus eight is good brightness i'll decrease contrast i'll increase a little bit but uh, the shadow palette is like uh, this so if you don't control this one it won't be like 3d image so shadow i'll make the shadow like that and highlight i'll make like that so the before one and after one the like uh, spot and the smoothing brightness i'll increase a little bit and shadow a little bit down and bright highlight i'll make it like this this highlight is good so the skin tone that's good yeah that's fine the match okay and hit okay now i will apply the dodge and burn option just because of if you don't apply the dodge and burn the highlighted area and the shadow area won't be prominent so skin fine is done smoothing is done now if you apply the shadow and highlighting dodge and burning that's the another name so let's apply this one press ctrl j and j two copies of this layer giving the name the highlight for h and is for the shadow and turn off the edge and h i'll make it screen mode right press blending options and underlining layer i'll find out the highlighted area of the face yeah, i got it and now here is the this slider i have to make it like divide press the alter button and press here it will divide and adjust the light with the face and hit ok and after that mask it image apply image hit ok and then turn on the is option and make it multiply this one is for the shadow so right press blending options underlining layer and here i'll find out the shadow press alter and click here the slider will divide and adjust the face shadow and hit ok after that mask it image and the apply image and in this case make it invert and hit ok 
and now select these two layers make it group and giving the name sh for the shadow highlighting and mask it and after that image apply image in this case uncheck the invert option and hit ok so get the exposure like uh, the highlighted areas are prominent and nice and hit the ok button make it group make it match now i'll go to the filter and the camera filter and here i'll apply the preset which i made earlier so go to the preset option and the load settings options here is the preset the retouch one and retouch two retouch two i'll apply you can also apply the retouch one so here you are getting the smooth skin like the previous and after so before one and after one yeah that's fine and if i make it zoom out you are getting like that if you need you can change all the things so how to do that let's see how to do that here the exposure if you need you can make it more exposed and highlight if you need you can just make it de highlight this one here is the shadow option if you need shadow you can add this one and here is the fx option i'll you can give some grammar or like you you can just dehaze this one so it's totally up to you if you need you can make the sharpness up if you need you can luminance up so everything here is a tone curve you can change the tone curve or other stuffs if you need so here is the temperature and tint and hit the ok button yeah the before one and after one you are getting like uh, the polished image so before one and after one before and after now i'll work with the eyes color so here i'll take a new blank layer and make it white and take a brush and make, make the brush size around like 45 percent or 30 percent that's good and the hardness zero percent and opacity and flow that's good and now just over here just brush it so when you are brushing it you have to be careful so if you need you can just brush but in this retina you are not getting any kind of light so you don't have to brush over there and change the blending mode to overlay and if you need you can change the opacity so you're getting nice eyes here and here yeah and then go to the adjustment layer and from here the solid color just take any any kind of color and blending mode to soft light and from here if you need you can change the color mode so this one is the another technique to change the color yeah that's good yeah that's the fine if you need you can change the all the modes so i think this one is good yeah that's fine so let's see the before one ordinary image but light is good everything is good but in this image you are getting this like polished image and totally like retouched and well uh, equipped like that and after all this one is a rich image so before one and after one if you need you can just add some color in the face but uh, but leaves but um, i think that now this one is good so select all the things let's select this one make it group make it merge now i will apply another filter that is the nick collection color effects pro 4 this one is another plugins if you need this plugins please check out my video description i'll give the download link over there so it's loading and here are lots of filters in this palette in the left side from here i am using the cross processing and here is lots of methods l03 i'll use this one and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and give you the output so let's see yeah that's fine it's almost done okay uh, if you need you can change the opacity down 
in this case i'll make it 64 percent yeah that will make more sense to your photography so big before one let's zoom it in before one and after one before and after so if i look like that before and after so i think you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you need the preset please check out my video detail or description i'll give all the stock link and the preset link over there so thank you so much until the next video i am a 7 signing out today and bye bye